an action figure <laughs> you know, okay I'm, I'm gonna try and sit down okay Can you, see me? you got me okay i got you. okay <laughs> oh my goodness this has been um what a, you know, what a we, we took three days off because of friday's horrific news um mm -hmm. and that was just it's just brutal it's really sad. Brutal. Yeah, and it's and the beat goes on, as we say. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had all my accoutrement. I had my candle that he made me. Aww. I had my action figure. <laughs> I um, was thinking about how I was Ruth Ginsburg for Halloween because my grandma had the lace. Oh. Collar, the scent and collar. So I just went one year as that. I was trying to find a picture, but then I was just, it was just upsetting. Yeah, it's a little upsetting. It's it's a upsetting. Lot upsetting. Yeah. But boy, we, we walked into some good news today, which we should be sharing shortly, maybe in another couple of days. We hope to be sharing something great with you. Yeah. Days. We, we woke up to it. And we couldn't believe it, but it's true. It's happening. And on the 24th, we are having Frangela. The this Frangela. week. I, I never in a million years thought, like, I've been listening to them for years. And when I think, like, oh, we would have some crazy Facebook live show. Would have them. <laughs> and just call them up and say, "Hey, you want to be on the show?" And they're like, "Yeah." We so really out of the realm of possibility for me, and but now I almost think doing this, Debriana, that anything's possible. You know what I, I mean? Know. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, anything's oh. possible, people. If you set your mind to it. For example, yep. I'm making butternut squash soup. <laughs> Bravo, Missy. I, I stuffed my giant squash last night, the one that was the size of a baby. <laughs> and I have three more coming. So I get to save those three for Thanksgiving, which I'm super excited about. We may be the only ones at our table, but oh well. <laughs> We're gonna have food for three years. That um, that squash you have looks like an alien pod from um, the daughter invasion of the body snatchers. It does, and it was delicious. It's very much like your butternut squash. But whoa, big, really big. <laughs> I gotta say, um, I'm just grabbing a little one here. Um, I, and I'll tell you what I've been doing while we're. Okay, I was gonna say, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, so I tried to become inspired going to the market today and I don't know about all of you out there but a lot of times I don't know what I'm gonna make until I see the actual food in front of me you yes know, date and then I go oh those look good I'll make that you know what I mean and so I really yep. don't know and I'm not gonna go back to the old days before we were in lockdown I used to do that all the time but I very rarely do it now <laughs> Right, and I so I might go to my own refrigerator and go. What am I gonna make? <laughs> be the sign. I don't know. Um, yeah. so, so anyway, um, I'm walking around and I just couldn't. And we got so much food. Like I have food for like three weeks. And um, and I went and I was looking at the the organic butternut squash, and they were just it, beautiful in season, stunning, perfect. And yep. so, I just was like, okay, that's it. We haven't made butternut squash soup. And I like to make it because we are chili, you know, central here. And my, my cousin Tatiana, who those of you who've been to her magical mystery garden, um, she gave me like how many poblanos? She gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven poblanos from her garden. And so I'm like, oh yeah. 
And I, I like to put the poblanos in the soup, in the crema, and a little bit on top. That's what I like yeah. to do. I like okay. a lot of it. But you some people know. can do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, so I've just been sweating some half of a medium onion yes. and, and, and sauteing it in butter and olive oil. Um, I'm going to add uh, three tablespoons of butter okay. and maybe two swirls of olive oil. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper in there, two glasses. Okay. Um, salt and pepper. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Everybody has to deal with my weird ways. Just um, count them. Count them. You know I'm going to sneeze right now. Now I'm going to put a little bit of marsala in there. Probably, oh, I guess I can measure it. Hang on. You, you could. You really could measure it. But you know, you don't have to it. It. Yeah. Look at my little baby pumpkin. Look. Oh, cute. <laughs> okay, this is about an eighth of a cup. We might put in more later. I'm not sure. Okay, so. The great news about this for all of you is that I've already roasted the vegetables. So I'm just really compiling everything right now. That she did her mise en place. Woo! Okay, so look at these beautiful things. Um, this is the um squash. Okay. Gorgeous. And oh, caramelize. Mmm. Caramelizes naturally. It's just you put it in at like 400. This took about an hour, probably, and it's just perfect. And then, did you wrap it in foil? Did you put it in a pan? What'd you do? Here's what I did, and I took photos, so I will um, share those on the recipe post. But what I do, what I learned the hard way, is that you have to obviously, and I'm going to start scooping this out to put it in the um, pan here. Okay. Everything I'm cooking, um, but while we're talking, but basically what you do is you cut it in half, you take the seeds out with a spoon, you know, and you make it so that it's, you know, like this, but not cooked. And you, I uh, rub olive oil on it and sea salt. And then I put down the parchment and roast it because if you don't put the parchment down, you're going to be scrubbing for a really long time. Sticky, sticky, um, sticky. Yeah. These are messy. And here, look at this. I mean, this is just so gorgeous. It's already, it's so soft and moist. I don't even have to like, this is, it's, oh, instant, oh. it's instant soup already. Yeah. So I'm just squishing it in. I'm not putting in the skin, just okay. some um, inner cooked squash. And it's, I mean, I wanted to eat it just like this. It doesn't even need sugar. Yeah. And so, you know, you can eat that skin. If you have an organic one, you definitely can eat it. I mean, I could, I guess, right now. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. When you cooked it that well, it's soft. And I, the skin has a lot of the vitamins in it. So it's an organic one. How are you going to mush it up? Well, I'm going to use, I was going to use my immersion stick blender, but, and not do the harder way, which is in the transfer everything to the regular. Mm -hmm. But, um, the well, stick blender. some of the skin is just happening and I'm yeah. not worried about it, but I'm not putting it all in, but I'm putting some in. Yeah. It's That's just, good. I'm kind of leaving it to chance, whatever naturally is coming off in my skin. Um, okay. Which you do, which is possible. Okay, there's one. Done. One and done. One side. Woo! Um, while you're roasting the um butternut squash, you can also roast the poblano chilies at the same time. But mm -hmm. obviously they're not gonna go as long because they're tiny and you know delicate. So yeah. um those are those are maybe 10 minutes, and you just want to watch them. And you want to make sure that the skin, I, I put olive oil on them. Oh, and yeah. Them. Gave and them a rub down. I have to stand up. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, um, you just.
honey in there. I know it's sweet from being roasted, but I want a little bit more. Um, and I didn't, you know, you can put brown sugar, but I think I just decided I'm going to put honey. Um, so I'm going to put like a, a tablespoon of that. And then, of course, Brianna's favorite, better than bouillon. Put that in. So all of that could be vegetable stock if you wanted. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. Yeah. 100%. And I'm not yep. putting the cream in until the end. Um, but I will put, I'll, I bought heavy cream and I will be putting it in. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, you know, not everybody does that. You don't have to do it, but... I think that it really, so I'm putting a teaspoon of this better than bouillon chicken flavor. Yeah. And that's like adding a, like a, the old fashioned way is if you had a cube, like a one bouillon cube. But I don't have a roasted chicken that I can get the great broth off of. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to also put a little bit of um, ground cumin seed in my mortar and yes. Yes, people are squash. That, that's what it means. Are people freaking out? Uh, people are squash. They can be zucchini, summer squash, acorn squash, butternut squash, big pink squash. If you go to your market right now, there's like 10 kinds of squash. Um, it's kind of great. Pan, pumpkin, they're all squash. Everybody's a squash. Pick your squash. I mean, I love doing this with butternut because it's a really great, great flavor uh, of soup. And let's just tell everybody this, with soup, you might not realize, um, it truly, you know, needs, if you want it to have the best flavor, make it a few days beforehand so the flavors can super, super meld. But the thing is, is that, you know, we're going to eat this tonight in the half an hour <laughs> but um but you know you could mm -hmm. totally make it ahead and it will be even better there you go spaghetti squash <laughs> i love that spaghetti squash that dana goldberg made i'm gonna make that again because i have a spaghetti mm -hmm. squash staring at me right now okay hey. i think i have everything in oh i'm gonna put in some par chopped parsley in the garden about probably a teaspoon i'm chopping it right now okay. um so this is going to just, you know, simmer on the stove while I'm doing the poblano situation, which is making the crema with sour cream, poblanos, garlic, and some pepper. It's just it's super simple. You, you just put it in a blender and, you know, go to town. Um, but it's so yummy, you know. And Can you freeze the leftovers is the question. <laughs> who, who are you asking? Yeah, <laughs> Miss <right>. Freezer? <laughs> well, we didn't share with people, or did we? Did we already tell people who are watching that we were, we're going to do like a month and a half of Thanksgiving food. So you're going to have your whole Thanksgiving dinner planned. On yeah. Tried, tested, foolproof. Okay. And this could be one of the things, you know. Yes, this is I've definitely I've I've served that kind of soup in like I've I've baked these little small pumpkins and then scooped them out and served the soup in it. That was my uh, Martha Stewart attempt. That's a, that is a spectacular presentation for Thanksgiving. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, oh, somebody does in mason jars. Are you saying you freeze your soup in mason jars? Is that what you're saying? I know you can definitely freeze this soup. But I don't freeze in mason jars if I don't have to. Okay, so here's the sweating poblano. Oh, sweating like poblanos. Sweating like me. We're the same color. My shirt is a poblano. Oh, <laughs> right, let's see if you can see this up close. Um, I took photos, but but look. Oh, my gosh. The scent. Oh, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful little creatures. Um, and so I'm just going to put two. The two largest ones in the soup. I'm gonna take. Look at this. The skin just. Yeah, the skin oh should God, just. It's like, a, it's like I just did a mask at the spa, and it's coming off so easily. No big deal. It's a poblano mask. There you go. Poblano mask, and then 
So you just take off the part, and then you're left with these beautiful skins and the flavor of roasted pavano is just yummy. Uh, divine. So I'm just cleaning these off very, very easy. And then I'm taking out the seeds in the top part um, like this. Here's Are they spicy poblanos? Nice smell. You know, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, <laughs> Seamus just walked in and said, nice smell, teenager. Nice. Great. Good. This okay. is for dinner. So you do, oh, you freeze it in mason jars. Good for you. You have to leave a little headroom. So if people do freeze stuff in jars. You know, you have to leave headroom because it, it expands in the freezer. I did that with my um, apricot jalapeno jam I made. Mm -hmm. um, and see, because I'm doing the immersion blender, like I'm chopping it up, but it's going to get completely, you know. Smushola. That's the technical term. <laughs> Smushola. So I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so there's one. Smushola. Then we're going to put in another one. And taking off the skin again. Um, yeah, this is going to be so tasty. Now, another great thing to do would be to make those crackers I made the other night for the mushroom soup. Oh, yeah. Or like homemade bread or croutons would be delicious. Yeah. With, um, mm -hmm. you know, like some kind of cheesy, cheesy crouton. I don't know. At least do you compost? You know, I don't, and I should. Um, I used to always. Um, it's weird with the dogs because unless you have a really safe compost pile, yeah, it has you know that's like sealed. Like when I used to have one of those turny things. Yeah, like, that's what I have. And the that turning. I wish I had that because then I would feel safe with them. But um, yeah, but otherwise you get other critters too, like raccoons and skunks and. Ugh. We have a lot of crit I live in town now. We have a lot of critters that, um, you know, roam the streets. Um, mm -hmm. That's <laughs> correct. Okay, it's going to get squashed, not schmushola. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, the second. I have to stand today. up. Oh, my God, you guys are my back today. Holy mother. Second poblano chop going in. Okay. It hurts. Okay. So then next, we're going to make this cream wet so that we can um, to put it in the fridge to chill chill down. So I have to go grab my little mini Cuisinart. Okay. Go get the mini. <laughs> Here, I'll entertain you with my Ruth Bader Ginsburg action figure. Oh, wait, I'm back. <laughs> that was three seconds. Okay, um, never mind. <laughs> So, um, so I'm just gonna, um, you know, make this uh, poblano situation with a half a cup of sour cream and some spices Yum. and peppers and mm -hmm. just, you know, just put it in the fridge and I'm just gonna drizzle it on and make some funny designs. Um, in the meantime, here. There's two things you can know about people. Oh yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Better know a ballot if you go there um, and you need information about your state. <gasps> you can find it out there about anything about voting. Or and if you want to do some work, like I did. Look, I've been doing this for days, writing letters. <laughs> oh my God, look at you. You're incredible. Contact vote forward. Um, it's votefwd.org and you can get letters and help send letters. I learned something today about um, writing letters, about how effective it is. It moves, it, it can move pe people to go vote by like 3%. That's a lot. You know, when I worked for the state of New Mexico, I will say this. You think like, oh, I'm going to do that email thing or I'm going to get my signature on something or whatever. It's not going to matter. You know what? So your representatives look at that stuff. They really, really do. And whether it's a person or a representative or whatever, your voice in a letter or email form really makes a difference. And even I used to think, what's the point of calling? 
you know, when I was younger. But oh, they, you know, log they log those calls. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two poblanos have gone in here with the skin off and chopped. And then I'm putting, um, that is about three quarters of a clove of milk garlic in there. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. Um, and that's in the baby Cuisinart, you're putting that in, right? Yes, I'm gonna put some chives, um, a little parsley, and some oh, sour that, that for the viewers out there, it's some and a little. Yeah, just figure it out. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the recipe. It's not hard. Oh, and you, you're and welcome. <laughs> listen, people, you'll get to a place in your cooking where you really need to trust your instincts. Yes, you need to put in, you know, recipes, especially for baking and stuff like that. I'm not going to pretend that you don't need to do that chemistry, but I'm just saying there comes yeah, a time. This kind of thing, it's a wing and a wing. It can be a wing and a prayer. Well, when you're making soup, you learn, you know what I mean? Let's see what I'm, I'm, I'm totally eyeballing half a cup. That looks like half a cup to me. <laughs> or maybe, oh. three, maybe three quarters. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. So it should be, it should turn green because I put parsley and chives in there. Well, in the peppers, right? Yeah, well, of course, yeah, the poblano, but like you want to have that beautiful green color against the mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's next, you guys. Look, Georgia. Oh my God. Wow, you're amazing. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of my heavy cream in here. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons because I want it to be a little bit more liquidy than this. This is more Ted Ziki texture right now. So I'm gonna put like two tablespoons um to soften it. Oh that's better. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, so you can drizzle. I gotta add that to the recipe. Okay. Oh that's better. Okay, so let's see here. So this oh my god. Awesome. Oh god yeah. yeah. And uh, you just taste it for salt, right? Oh, are they hot? <laughs> a little bit of a kiss. Pretty. But, oh my gosh, you could eat this with like crackers. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I like it like that, but you know, you could put one in or half yeah. one. I put in two small ones. <laughs> That's going to be hot stuff. Okay, I'm putting that out of the way, but, but delicious. Okay. The other thing about sour cream is buy good sour cream. If you're going to oh, have. Yeah. Oh, cream, it makes such a difference. It's yes. like, like, you know, for example, our food has become tasteless. Um, I I don't know if you remember that um, Jovial brand flour that I bought oh, yeah. for both of us in the panic yeah. when we didn't get flour. Okay. That stuff made everything I made with it 10 times better. I don't yeah. know why, but it is. Well, I do know why. It's just, it's just flavor. Why. Really it's good. good. Yeah. It's really okay, good flour. So this is on simmer. I'm taking the stick blender. I'm going to immerse, immersion blend this. Um, and this is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it just. You just mm -hmm. the bottom is submerged in there. Otherwise, make sure you have a tall pot so that you know you don't get it. That splashy hot stuff. Ouch! It is, it is beautifully, beautifully chopping up every single, you know, larger item I've had here and making it into a beautiful soup. Now, this is one way of doing it. You could also take it in sections, but, you know, it's a pain in the ass to, um, you know, section this out, put it in your regular, you know, if you have an amazing blender, you could do that. Um, uh, it's just, you know, there's a splatter, you know, sort of uh, scare. You have scare. to make sure, yeah, you have that top with a 
towel on top. Yeah. So you don't get splashed with hot soup. So <laughs> I'm going to, this is just looking gorgeous. I'm going to put the rest of the chicken broth in there. That's another cup. So it's four cups total. Four cups. Yeah. And then I'm going to put the cream. And this is just going to, this is just almost done. I mean, it's, it's really easy to put it together. Um, you just want it, the longer it can stay and meld, the better off you're going to be. So I'm going to put right now a cup of cream in, and I'm just going to test it. If that's too creamy for me, that might, this might be enough. Or am I want a little more? And that, and that cream, FYI, will help temper the heat of, um, as well the honey, help yes. temper the heat yes. of the chili. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. And I'm going to make some, um, you know, grilled. I have a Siciliana sausage. It's kind of spicy. I know I like everything spicy, but I, <laughs> it's going to be delicious. So, oh my God. That's just like, it's so good. I can make soup, Debriana. Soup and I'm, I'm good at soup. Um, <laughs> But anyways, yeah, this is a great Nobody thing. wants to see the soup. Can you bring it over? Let me immerse and blend it a little bit more. If you don't have an immersion blender, you haven't lived. These things are awesome. I can find a fair amount. And it's super easy to use if you want to make your own mayonnaise or um, for salad dressing. It, it's a great tool. Well, she's using the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it creates such an ease with what you're doing because you don't have to remove hot liquid from somewhere to somewhere else, you know? Yeah. And um, it's just so much easier. So this is getting gorgeous. Um, I have some, you know, this is probably going to cook for another you know, 15 minutes and then Let's we're going to eat it. But. Okay. Oh, there you are, beauty. Lovely. And it will, you know, go down a little bit and melt and it's just, it tastes wonderful right now. But tomorrow yeah. it will be, you know, there'll it's be like, like two, bowl, two bowls left tomorrow, but that'll be lunch. Um, And, you know, it's yeah. up to Really, what your favorite flavors are? I mean, you know, if you were a cilantro person, you could have put cilantro in the crema. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people do that with poblanos. Um, I just kept it really simple, and I just love the flavor of cream and the pepper, um, mm -hmm. and a little salt and I, and garlic. But um, but you know, it's up to you. But I'm I don't really need to add anything more to this. It's delicious. No, and and here's the thing too. If you want it, like for me, I, I've been doing Thanksgiving for so many people for so many years. I have a plan because, <laughs> of course, I do. I know what I'm doing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And if I were to serve that soup, I might make that on Tuesday and leave it oh, wow. in the refrigerator, so you can get stuff done ahead of time. This is a great one for that. Um, yeah. You know, your chutneys, anything that needs to have flavor meld before your big oh, dinner. Yeah. I'm with my cranberry sauce a couple days you ahead. Know, better. It only gets better. So why not? You know, um, oh, know. somebody thinks they can smell it from afar. <laughs> this is going to be so yummy. And I, this was just a squash a couple hours ago. And look at it now. And now what? Uh, it's a squish squash. <laughs> You know, and, and some people like to, um, you know, sieve their soup um, if you don't like it funky and you want it to be more whatever. I'm totally fine with the way mine is. Um, I like the rustica. Me too. And it's just, this is going to be um, So that's yeah. it. I'll post, I'll post the recipe and the pictures. Okay. We're going to eat this now. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go okay. Well, I All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Don't forget the cook along. 
Yes, got, remember we pushed we the, date. the date. It's now October 3rd. Oh, wait, where'd it go? October. I need to do this like a like I'm not mentally retired. Took it on. Took it on. So don't forget. Go over and get it. And don't forget to um subscribe to our YouTube channel. We haven't said that in a while. We have almost 160 subscribers. First. My you know, and these kids tell me that's hard to do. So help us get over the 200. We've got yeah, to do it. Uh, it's free. It's great. Um, and you get notices. Woo! <laughs> and we'll and have more news coming out. Thursday is Frangela. You guys will not want to miss that. It's going to be so fun. They are so funny. If you don't know them, you are going to laugh and laugh. These ladies are just so hysterical. Yeah. They, they do characters, and they're making their homemade chili, and we're just going to have a great time. I can't. Yeah. I am so great beer. I can't believe we're having them on the show. I'm stunned. I can't believe we got them. We're so I lucky. Know. I know. We're really lucky. So that's our story tonight, kids. <sighs> we'll just keep on blending. Keep yeah. on blending. blending. Keep on, keep on, because, boy, we need it. Vote. Register to vote. Have a plan. I will vote.com. Check your vote. Better know ballot. Check. You can check everything there. You can find your date and check it out. Oh my God, Debriana, I forgot to show you this. What? My new Christmas ornament. <laughs> I have a candle. It came today. <laughs> of course we do. Hi, everybody. Hi.